Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to give you a short overview of some table properties that you can use in Google Documents. Let's go ahead and take a look here at my sample Google document. And I'm going to insert a table into my document. Now, you can use one of the templates, and I have a video about the templates linked up down below. But for this instance, we're going to create a simple 4x4 template. Now, this is the default styling of the template, and it will automatically expand as I hit my return key and or as I type more in each one of those cells. And I can also customize it by just clicking and dragging and moving the column line. And I can do the same thing for the rows. I can click and drag to adjust them. But I'm going to reset that now. And now let's right click on the table itself and take a look at the table properties. So I right click on it and we're going to go down here to table properties. And here we can set things like a minimum row height of let's say one inch. And so that's going to be for that row. And I'll do the same thing there. One inch and here will be one inch as our minimum row height. Now we can do the same thing for our column width. We can set that at let's say one inch and you'll see that now that whole column is one inch and maybe we'll make this one the right hand the far right hand column. We'll set that one at 1.5 and then our two columns in the middle are going to be their original sizes. Now let's click back up here to the top left corner and take a look at some of the other options here. We can do a table alignment of left, center, or right. Our cell alignment can be top, middle, or bottom. And we can set our cell padding from the default. Let's make it one inch. So we're going to have one inch there. And now we can also go into our table borders. Let's make our table borders, let's say, a nice shade of blue. And so that they show up better, well, let's make it 4.5 points. And finally, we can set our background color for an individual cell. And we can go back and set it as none as well. Now you'll see there's also a little drop down menu up here where you can set the borders around the entire table or set the border lines between items in the table. And we'll take a look here. We can also pin that row across the top as well. So those are a few of the ways that you can customize the properties of the tables that you insert into your Google Documents. As always, for more things like this, please visit freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.